Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. Now this is not a Christmas special, but it is filmed in the Twixmas, which is the period between Christmas and the New Year when everybody or the majority of people who don't work in retail are not working and there's a little bit more time to go tinkering in the shed. So if like me you're a fellow tinkerer, I hope you've uh, maximised the opportunity and got something done in your shed or garage. Uh, what we've done in the past few days is to restore this Greenwood and Bately shaper. I say restore it, it's not really a full restoration. It had a nuff, a nuff, a duff motor on and in fact the, the motor when I, I first sort of came here and met Bob the motor you had to hit with the hammer while simultaneously turning the handle uh, and one time in about six it would actually work and run the shaper so when I asked Bob to give me a demo he uh, duly flicked the switch and turned the handle and hit it with the hammer and there was a massive bang and a big cloud of smoke and that was the last time it moved so it's been a fair bit of time spent sort of oiling everything up, getting things unstuck and unseized along the, the sliding jib and all the bearings and putting some fresh grease in. And of course, the biggest job was to fit that new motor uh, down there. So that's um, one and a half kilowatts, a two horsepower motor, because there's quite a bit of, of starting torque required to get the whole thing operating. I've managed to get two belts on where it had a single belt before, although they're old belts that have just been lying around so it'll probably benefit from perhaps a couple of new belts if I really want to spend some money <coughs> some of my, my Christmas money perhaps uh, rather disappointingly this car gearbox here probably not original fitment um, has got a bit of an oil leak on it which is a bit of a shame so it probably needs a new seal probably sulking because it's having to actually do some work now I can only get three speeds from this gearbox and it might even be a three speed box I'm not sure obviously that's not standard fitment and then it drives this chain which drives this big flywheel and operates the shaper um, but it's all wired up and it does work and if I press the switch without hitting anything with a hammer or turning any handles just by pressing the switch it should burst into life there we go so that is the shaper in operation it's got three speeds that I can get uh, I imagine it's first gear, second gear and third gear. When it's in the top gear it does run rather fast and the whole thing rocks even though it's a very heavy thing and it's bolted to the floor it sort of rocks and vibrates so I wouldn't want to run it at the maximum speed. And the way that these things work is you bolt the job onto here and then you put a cutting tool in there pointing down and it scrapes across the top. So it's ideal for cutting a keyway or it's ideal for making a very large flat surface. You could skim a cylinder head with this and these things sort of were about before uh, milling machines were prevalent. So I've no idea how old it is. I do know that uh, Greenwood and Bately went into liquidation in 1980. This has got a Leeds stamp on so it would be from the Leeds Albion Works. That predates 1967 I think. But of course, if I'm wrong, the internet no doubt will tell me. Um, and so this, this could, could be um, pre-1900. I doubt it, but the company was sort of in existence in the 1800s. Uh, and it certainly has a certain patina and a bit of age to it. Now this thing on the side here is an automatic feed. So that there has got this quite nice ratchet mechanism. So you can see there. Oh, it's not working just needs a bit a bit more oil on it I think to to make it um, a bit freer this part here but the idea is that each time the shaper does a cut it turns the handle slightly and then moves the table ready for the next cut you can just about see it's turning the handle there each time as it pass Somebody said it's a bit like having an electric driven steam engine and I know exactly what you mean and yes uh, I think it's just a cool thing to have. So the stool of contemplation is next door in the garage but I will be sitting perhaps on the stool of enlightenment or perhaps the stool of ponderment. I haven't named it yet so one stool is mine and one stool is Bob's. I'll, uh, I'll give it a good name and uh, or perhaps you've got an idea what the other one should be called. What would the matching pair be to the stool of contemplation there we go so yes I'm very very pleased with that I will no doubt be putting it to some good use not quite sure what's just yet 
Um, but if you've got any suggestions, let me know. That's what I've done so far. Back to the chopper now. Now I've got that machine running after a bit of a tidy up. So uh, when I've done some more work on the chop, I'll let you know what's happening there. As usual, thank you for watching. Have a brilliant uh, rest of your Christmas or Twixmas and a happy new year. If there's no videos before then, more updates will follow.